Hi, I'm Ruben. I inspect houses. Today, I'm not talking about inspecting houses. I'm, I'm talking about a handy little set of tools that I've got. Um, these are my little homemade Allen wrenches for going inside of a drill. Uh, one day I was putting something together. Um, I was using this type of Allen wrench and well, my wife and I were putting this together and she said, hey, why don't you just cut the end off of that and stick it in a drill. Now, I'm not going to give her credit for the idea because, you know, marriage is all about keeping points and I don't give her points that easily. So, you know, I guess the key to a good marriage is don't give the other person points. So I'm not going to give her credit for this, but uh, it was her idea originally. I, uh, I just ran with it. Basically, I, well, I'm back up here. Every time I get a kit from some uh, cheap furniture store or what have you, whatever it is, and it comes with an Allen wrench, I save my Allen wrenches. So I've got this little collection of them. Um, I'm sure I have plenty of repeats in here. But I said, okay, that's a great idea. I'll, uh, I'll cut the ends off a bunch of them, and then every time I've got a project that needs an Allen wrench, you just stick this in your drill, tighten it up, and uh, you're good to go. Your projects go way faster. So basically this little tool set was free, it just came from a bunch of extra parts I had and I couldn't find one of mine the other day and so I had to put this together without my special tool. It was absolute death. It was, it was the worst five minutes of my life. I had to just keep doing this over and over and uh, well today I'm going to turn this into just something that's going to fit in my drill instead. To do this all you got to do is toss it in your vise and cut the end off. Now, you could use a bunch of protective gear. You could use a face mask and gloves and an eye mask and some hearing protection. Um, all of those things will not only make you look really cool when you're doing this, but they will also protect you. Uh, I'm just going to wear the headphones. I, I got these at Home Depot. They're like 20 bucks. They came with this little jack. You can plug it into your MP3 player or phone, and uh, it, it sounds perfect. Drones out whatever you're doing. They're great. Um, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna listen to anything while making this video though. So I'll toss these on. We'll grab a cutoff tool here. getting the end of that nice and flat. Now this is going to be really hot, so I don't want to grab it, of course. But we'll take a wrench, grab the end of it, and yeah, it's okay there. And then the last step, just take a file, and if, you, if the end isn't quite perfect, you want it to fit in whatever you're sticking it into, just take a file, file the end down a little bit on all six sides, and then you've got a nice little wrench. Um, the last step, now this could certainly be improved upon, this was just the first thing I thought of was I grabbed an extra chunk of wood, cut it, uh, made some lines and I drilled a bunch of holes and these things fit in there. I did this many years ago and I just haven't really improved upon it because it's worked fine for me since. So that's my quick little tip on how to make your own tool set. 